now you see this is the central plains of Kosovo. It is very important to understand because Kosovo is a high plateau. You can see it here very beautifully. We just crossed uh, the mountains to Macedonia. Uh, this is in the back now, in the south. There's huge mountains. And here you have this flat field. And that's why, and that's also important to understand, why Kosovo was always uh, the battlefield. It was the battlefield of civilizations because here was the ideal way to fight out. Uh, and uh, basically it was a battlefield here. There was uh, mountains uh, surrounding Kosovo in the east uh, to Serbia, in the south to Macedonia, in the west to Albania, in the northwest uh, to uh, Montenegro. And here you see all of them around. It's a kind of a huge highland plateau. And here basically flat uh, fields. And here there were these big battles between the Ottoman armies and the Balkan armies, the Christian armies. They were in Kosovo for that reason. It was the ideal battlefield. And here we are now entering the Ferisai uh, area. That's uh, the capital of the southern region of uh, Kosovo. I'm also, by the way, very much for Austrian style regions in Kosovo, five regions and also in Macedonia. But I will make a separate video here about it. But just to understand the geography, I think it cannot be better explained than this one. Here, obviously, then uh, beyond these mountains, uh, Chilan, the eastern capital. Over there, then Brisbane, uh, the southern, uh, southwestern um, area. And Peja would be over there, Mitrovica in the north of Pristina. And we have another 35 kilometers only to go uh, to a beautiful uh, Pristina. I will stay in Kracenica in my favorite hotel today and that will be very nice, I will show you this one. But again, the main message which I want to make very clear is Kosovo with the good policy of having a regulatory takeover of the EU regulations from the start and also the Euro as currency, a clear commitment towards NATO, unfortunately still not a member, but uh, secured by NATO 100% via K4. So basically this was all the right ingredients for success this is a stable regulatory framework, a clear pro-Western direction, at the regulatory system of the EU and the European currency and a clear commitment towards joining NATO. This is the recipe for success and you see the expressed here in this beautiful highway. This is European Kosovo and it has deserved EU member status, uh, status as a candidate. It's only potential now but now it's time to get also candidate status and to be on the same level like uh, Serbia and Montenegro and also Albania and Macedonia and Bosnia should also get that status and of course NATO membership. This is very important. It will not change anything in our defense obligation, but it changes a lot for the status of Kosovo in so far in terms of respect and recognition and this is the way forward and all Europeans who are opposed to that they have to be called Russian assets and enemies of freedom and uh, also they have to be blocked from any further EU funding. This must be the Austrian foreign policy in the coming years. And you know, all these um, rather poor uh, subsidized countries who are thinking that they can impose their foreign policy on Europe, like Spain, like uh, Greece, like uh, Cyprus, Slovakia, Romania, they unfortunately have to be told that this is not possible we will now squeeze them very hard and we will block all funding for them and I think that's the best way to go ahead. Good, you see again the modern way to build highways here beautifully and also surrounding the high plateau of Kosovo, I think very beautifully to be seen here. Thanks a lot, more to come from Pax Europeana on the way to Pristina. Bye!